Okay, so this is how you solve a distance and gravity problem. Hopefully you remember from doing your experiment on the online animation that if you did a distance and gravity graph, you got some sort of curve like that. Depending on if you how far apart your data points were, you might have only got a section of this curve, kind of in this general area. If you did quite a few distances, you got more of a parabola. One of the things to remember is in order to mathematically get this line to slope down this direction, you have to have an inverse number. And then to add that curve piece here on this side, you also have to have a square. So what we end up with, with for this relationship is flip and square um, for that relationship, um, or flip and square it, um, as you'll hear me say as well. So, on any type of gravity and uh, gravity and distance problems, um, one of the first things, see if I can zoom in here for you a little bit. One of the first things um, we're going to do on this type of problem is we are going to first figure out what's the relationship on the distances. Um, so in this case, we started out at 6 meters apart, and we're moving to 18 meters apart. So we first have to figure out what's the relationship between those numbers. Um, and in order to get from 6 meters to 18 meters, I have to multiply that by 3. So then I have to do an inverse or a flip. And I get myself one third. Then I'm going to square that number and I get one ninth. Um, so before we just whatever we did to the ma mass we did to the gravity but this time we have a couple extra steps. We have to flip that number and then we square that number. This one ninth is then what I'm going to multiply by the force of gravity. In this case it's 27 newtons. Got that from right there. 1 ninth of 27 is going to be 3 newtons. And that is how you solve a distance problem.